We gonna call this shit right here, yeah. a dollar in the dream. A dollar in the dream. That's all a nigga got. So if it's about that cream, then I'm all up in the spot. I was raised in the FA. Why a nigga never gave me nothing? Pops left me. I ain't never cried. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today this is John's car. We're gonna be working on doing a full front end refresh on it. Pretty much replace almost everything on the front end. Upper control arm, the lower control arm, the tension arm, and the lower ball joint. That way you can get alignment. Yeah, this is all the parts right here. You guys seen all the content for the GS? Um, I'll show you guys in a bit the back. Um, I already dynamited it, so it's almost done. And now we're gonna work on cutting out the floor, but let's get it started. Guys, so we got the car jacked up and we're gonna get the tires off. Yeah. All right guys, you can see right here, that tension arm bushing is shot and that's common on these cars. We're gonna place the upper control arm. You can hear it a little bit. And then the lower control arm and the lower ball joints. That's uh, the main one right there. First things first, we gotta remove the brake, the brake caliper and the spindle. All right, we got the brakes off. Now we're gonna take off this uh, eye rod. Get the special tool. God damn. Yeah. <coughs> All right, guys, we got the spindle off. We're gonna take off the. We gotta take off the strut. Anyways, it's gonna be easier. Well, we do have to take it off because we're gonna replace the lower control arm, the lower ball joint. Tension arm, the lower control arm, and the upper is what we're replacing today. All right, let's fucking pop this bitch off. I fucking hate this sound. It's just like surprise. <laughs> surprise, motherfucker. You don't know when it's gonna pop. God damn. Special tools, baby. <laughs> We're gonna take out the lower control arm. But before you do, you wanna mark the eccentric bolt. So it's like as best in alignment before you take it to the shop. So I can't show you guys, but the eccentric bolt over here. You just mark it with the frame and the eccentric bolt itself so it just goes back to the right place. You seen us pop out the ball, lower ball joint? That's like a common problem on these GSs where they snap off. Next we're gonna do is take out the strut, take out the upper arm. And then take out the lower arm and tension arm. Got the strut and the upper arm out. All right, TM rolled up. We have to push the GS because obviously it doesn't run. But we're gonna put it on the lift and get ready to cut out the floor. On the other hand, TM is here because he's gonna cut his front shop subframe, similar to what I did on my car. But his one is a different. It's a lot easier, so I'll show you guys when you get started. To see him suffering, he bought a used one. All right, see him. John bought a Shama juice, so what are you gonna do? Fuck this, you better fucking. Kiss me. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. It's just nice. It's just nice. I'm back to work. What? <laughs> 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 Where you bought it from? eBay? Yeah. How much was? 133 plus the shipping. Cut it deep one more time. Oh, yeah. yeah, baby. Print subframe for the LX400. Tech Motor Corporation, baby. <laughs> she got this shit out. But it's a little bit stuck. We just gotta give it a little bit of pride. And she should be right out. There you go, baby. This is how the parts are changing. Rock Auto, baby, sponsor us. Ah. Yeah. So like I said, we got uppers, lower ball joints. Lower control arms, tension arms, and that's it. Yeah, this CM right here. So what he's gonna do is shorten my, his subframe like we were saying. Pretty easy, you just gotta cut it off pretty much. You don't have to do any welding. Unless you fuck it up, but yeah. TM is moving along nicely, marking up his um, line. Yeah, baby. Come to me. I think the marking the line just takes some time to do it. That way you know it's straight. And then cutting too. Since this one, you don't need a weld, it's good to take your time cutting it. But on the other hand, this side we got the lower control arm and the upper arm in. 
lower fucking tension arm, upper arm. Just a pro tip, you wanna get the anises, put it on all your bolts so it's easier to come out. When, if you do need to take it out, that way it doesn't look all crusty and rusty, like this. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna torque this down. If you don't got a torque wrench, I suggest you get one. You gotta wanna torque your stuff down. That way you know. Yes, sir. Uh. Alright, we got the master fab starting right here to assist. We're bolting the vice down to the table right now. What did I miss? I was on a call. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. You're gonna chop this bitch off. You guys are gonna see it, but. Alright, Almost got this thing done. Just gotta do every torque everything down. <laughs> Moving along just fine. Uh. And uh, four hours later. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, baby. Shut him up. Uncle. Yeah, large. What are we gonna get today? Uh, don't actually get. Uh, uh, four. Four, four. Arizona's. Four. And, and you added the small. Gotta check it with noodles, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. JP, what's going on? Garlic chicken, bro. Garlic chicken, boys. How's those chicken? For cash. Almonds. Crispy gauji. Oh. Okay, don't look man special, baby. What can go wrong? Holy shit! Oh, this is a whole ginger, whole ginger chicken. That's a big ass plate. Alright, everybody, it's time to eat. Let's get some pork cash. Damn. 750? Fucking good. Never have Monopoly. No. What? Fuck oh. this. He's on Savage. Oh. And who knew this would take so long? <laughs> 10 minutes. This thing is probably hot. I don't want to burn my. Kiss me, Jonathan. Socket set fucking fell down, so Jonathan's putting it back together. Alright, as far as the car goes, I finished up the other side. Just gotta tighten down some stuff after I do this side, but we're almost there. Alright guys, moving along nicely, grinding it flat as we can, leveling it out. The other side is almost done. I just gotta get the shock in, torque everything down. This side is done pretty much. Alright, we got this car done. Everything torqued down. John's gonna go for a test drive, see if it's all good. Certainly still going because CM kind of cut it crooked a little bit, but we're gonna fix it. Oh. SVG came in, finished it off, corrected this side. This side looks high over here, but the level says it's straight. So, we got the level over here. <laughs> good to go, and John's car is done over there. He said he rode um, good. Smooth baby, smooth. Next thing we gotta do is push the GS on the lift so we'll get ready to cut the floor. Wish us some luck guys. Alright guys, we got it in. Didn't think we could do it, but the hardest part was the hill. The driveway itself and the thing went right onto the to the lift. So let me show you guys the gas tank real quick. Alright guys, this is the setup right here with the tank in. What it's pretty much gonna look like. From work. Oh. <laughs> what you do? What? Where you at? Oh no, please mercy! Okay, please, we're gonna get monetized. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, baby, it's all sound dampened right here, baby. Fuck, ready to go. All right, so that's what the trunk looks like. We'll show you guys on the neat. All right, guys, it's on the neat right here. It's all seam sealed. That way, moisture doesn't get in. We spray painted it so it doesn't rust or anything. Look how high it is comparison to the diff now, because it was all the way like fucking down here before. <laughs> it came like this. All right, this is underneath, baby. Oh. This is where the fuel tank was. We gotta take out these brake lines, take out these fuel lines. All of this shit is gonna get cut out. That's it for today. We got John's car, a full front end refresh on the suspension. And then we got CM's front subframe cut. So you just gotta install it now. Yeah, other than that, that's it on this vlog. Stay tuned for this GS. And then cut the floor out. So peace out, guys. Trust me, I'm living. Look what a nigga made out the shit that I was given. Look what a nigga came out. Mama sewing patches on my holes. Man, I hoes couldn't put this flame out. Straight up, I got my back against the brick wall. I'm from a world where niggas never pop no crystal. It was pissed off. You pass through, you better pray them bullets.